back to 120 Minutes. I'm Louis Largent, and we have a Cocteau Twin who has joined us. This is Robin Guthrie, who plays guitar in the Cocteau Twins from Grangemouth, Scotland. Is that where you're from? That's about right, yeah. What, uh, what kind of town is Grangemouth, Scotland? It's a uh, oil town, big indus industry and all sort of smell. And it's like Edge City. And uh, how did you end up falling into being in a band? Are, are, is, are all the members of the band from this town? Simon's not from there. Me and Liz are. Simon, we met in London a few years later. And, uh, and what, what, what like, inspired your music in the early days? Was it that, uh, that town? <laughs> Speed. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can't say that. Right, OK. No, what ins uh, just we wanted to get out of there. And, you know, we were listening to lots of records and all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. And we thought, this is good, this isn't like working. <laughs> and uh, it is now, I must tell you. <laughs> doing all the interviews yeah. and playing the gigs. And yeah, but I wouldn't be doing it, but my manager promised me lots of money. But I came and did it. So. What's, the, what's the worst part about being in a band for you? Mm. The hardest thing? The thing you hate doing the most, besides this? No, this is okay. okay. I mean, the next take will be even better. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, no, I don't know. It's all, it's all right. So, your new album is out. It's uh, took about three years to make this one, right? No. That's not four years? <laughs> no, it took about four months to make it. Well, it's been a long time since you released the record. It's basically yeah, what I'm trying to say, right, Robin. Yeah. More, than, more than you usually take. Yeah. yeah is little. there any particular reason for that? Just you off <laughs> making babies? No, not exactly. Uh, not exactly, <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell us about the title of the album, Fort Calendar Cafe, which I believe is based on a book? It's, uh, it's just a little phrase out of a book by William Least Heatman. Uh, it's just a sort of travelogue around the States. And he just used this phrase just to describe uh, eating establishments, how good they were. If they had four calendars, they were pretty good. Okay. Well, we're going to take a look at the first video from Fort Calendar Cafe, which is called Evangeline. Robin Guthrie, the guitarist for the Cocteau Twins, has joined us, and this is also your first American television appearance. Uh, yeah. Feeling pretty good right now? No. Not. Feeling a little nervous? Yeah. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so, um, let me ask you, you got, you and, you and Liz have a, a young baby. She's four. She's four, four years old. Does that have an influence on, uh, on your music? Yeah, I don't know, yeah, maybe. It's sort of, uh changed the way we made it because we didn't stay out all night anymore. We kind of go home now. Does that make your music mellower? Mm, it doesn't make me any mellow. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. You're not sure. We'll see. Exactly. Okay. We'll be talking more with uh, Robin Guthrie of Cocteau Twins tonight and stick around for that along with the Melvins, Paul Westerberg and right after the break we got the latest from Massey Star. Stick with us. Welcome back to 120 Minutes. I'm Louis Largent. Robin Guthrie has joined us from the Cocteau Twins. Um, Robin, you can't understand, at least you couldn't for a long time, what Liz was saying. You couldn't, I cannot. <laughs> what was she saying? She's not here to speak um, for herself, but to your best interpretation. I don't know. Were they actual lyrics, or did she just yeah, make it up? Yeah, I saw them all written down. They kind of made sense. So the way she sings it, you know? At least I think so. <laughs> Is, is it true she's seen a, a, a teacher, a vocal teacher? Therapist, I think. The one a therapist? <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah she's, she sees lots of people. <laughs> because her vocals are getting more understandable. I mean, I can understand mm -hmm. complete choruses in, uh, in Evangeline. Can you? Yes. 
It's a, it's a fabulous Good. first. Congratulations. <laughs> well, thank you. Maybe uh, maybe I'll understand the whole song at some point. Yeah. Maybe it might not be ours, but. Um, are you guys gonna come back in uh, in tour? Guess so. Do you like um, playing? You seem like more of a sit-down band, but it seems like you like to play more. Like you're like a, a theater type of band, but. I've heard you guys like to play the ballrooms where people stand. Yeah, well, we've got to stand up as well. And it's kind of like you feel a bit out of place <laughs> if you're standing up and everybody's sitting down. Because they're all facing one way and we're facing the other way. You know what I mean? It's good if people stand up. It's good. Well, Robin, thanks for coming by. Your first television appearance. Hope it wasn't too painful. It was. It was? <laughs> it was. Um, I'm sorry. We'll make it better next time you come around. We'll, we'll bake a cake. and. And, and do all kinds of nice things. We'll throw a big party for you here. Marvelous. Okay. <laughs>